All right, Delta Flight, stand by. We're ready to go in. I I don't agree with they shouldn't go down there, but I don't agree these two should be going down there. Yes. That I, I, I agree with you that those two shouldn't be the going one, down like, there. The, the two most valuable, I think, in the station. <laughs> Sinclair, we're on toilet paper. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get it for everybody. Hi guys, we are Knights, I'm Ray. I'm Julian. I'm Michael. Guys, just let you guys know right off the bat. We are following an, uh, uh, a fan-made order of following Babylon 5. Yes. Supposedly, this is the proper timeline of what we, we're watching, okay? So, the, the episode might be off on air release. We're not going to follow the, 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 the channel's air release dates. We're going to follow what the fans say we should be following. That's why we haven't seen any of the movies either because there's movies that we're supposed to be watching, but some of them are in between some episodes. So this is according to this website that we're watching and from other fans that we've heard from, this is the proper order of watching this. That way we make sure that we're not being cheated, we're in the proper time, the, 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 the timeline, and we do everything right. So it's gonna appear that we are jumping ahead, but we're not gonna be jumping ahead according to this timeline. So what we're gonna be watching today, uh, actually we're gonna watch, uh, hopefully both both episodes, if we can fit it in, A Voice in the Wilderness, part one. Okay, so this would take this should take place right after the last episode we just finished watching. You guys any thoughts on that, guys? Well, I know it's a two part <laughs> episode and we've been talking about it, so. Um, pretty excited about this pretty, one. Pretty excited about this one. Um, I don't want to recap. But what was the last episode? The last episode was that that one general that came over, and he was he was trying to get revenge on uh, Saint Clair because he tried to go to the station and I now yes. run the station. And we found out he had a, like actual secret motive of taking the whole like. Yeah, he yeah. had he had a connection with the side core somehow. Side core and now was the main player. What's that guy that was there before? I know you probably remember his name. The guy that was there before from side core. Bester. Uh, Bester. Bester. Yeah, Bester. Bester. It looks like he's behind a lot of things. Kind of confirmed a few theories that were throwing around, which was that Psycor has a lot more to do with the actual military and the uh, the alliance, what is it called? The, the Earth Force than we actually think. So, just yeah. I know, I, I I I still think that best is a tool. These are all two. I, I still I still don't think that we've seen everybody who's main players yet. Like we're almost done with the first season, and a lot of things seem to be creeping in. They're like, wow, okay, what's going on? What's happening? Um, it's even small things. Just side small. theory. Um, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Side theory. Um, Ivanova. Still could be a bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. I just think she's angry. With that one episode we saw, the TKO episode, where, where uh, the the rabbi came up and was trying to... <laughs> now you found it. So <laughs> the thing is that this is called Voice in the World, and this is a two-parter. And this is our first two-parter that we're encountering. That is true. So I'm excited about this. I hope to God that this is not a two-part filler. filler. Because oh, they're going to hear it. Oh, God, I'm not going to lie to you. If this is a two-part filler, I'm going to say a couple things. Plus, I'm going to take a small break from this. Yes. Not. Shut up. Okay, I won't, uh, take a break. I won't take a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're going to start with the boxing match. That's just going to go over two parts. It's just going to be the Rocky movie again. <laughs> this guy's going to come back. Apparently now Taekwondo is a thing. <laughs> or, you know, not that. All right. So, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Excuse me, perhaps you might help me. I'm looking for Ambassador Delenn. Could you tell me where I might find her? Of course. This way. Shuttle 1, you're clear to begin geological survey. Confirmed, Babylon Control. Initiating launch. Is Babylon moving around? Yeah. Uh, is it moving? I mean, that's a new planet, so... For sure it has to be moving. No, it's a station. 
It seems like every time I get into the tube, Mr. Garibaldi's there. It's like he knows. Talia, Mr. Garibaldi is many things, but he's not omniscient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe a problem, though. It's not a good look for him. It's not a good look for him. <laughs> Activate scanners. Set for maximum depth. Are we going to see the, the, the people? Is that the same place that, 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 we, that she surveyed before? No, it can't be. That was Khan. <laughs> okay, because the, the episode where his wife or his girlfriend was surveying, yeah. that was deep and... and yeah, uh, yeah. And, 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 um, Sigma, uh, Sigma... No, Sigma no, no territory. territory. There you go. Yeah. And this is not that. I don't think so. No, it's not. I mean, no. No, but I, I still think that we might be seeing the... Uh, the advanced race? Yeah. That advanced race? And yeah. also, also, they didn't shoot the... When it was that the surveyor? Yeah, he just drove... He just, yeah. Not a, something that came from Earth, from the planet. See, but, but Jakar referred to us as ants compared to them. Why would they attack ants? Babylon Control to Shuttle 1. What the hell? That all of our readouts blacked out for a second. Same here, Babylon. I think it's the I think it's the advanced race. Power surge, right off the scale, knocked half our systems offline. It must have come from somewhere deep inside the planet. Stand by, don't go anywhere. I won't be surprised if some ancient technologies just fell upon. An interesting riddle, Commander. I thought the planet beneath us was uninhabited. That's what we thought. None of our prior surveys found any sign of life down there. It would seem you may have awakened something. The new um, three Oh. You drive a very hard bargain. But you are right. It is a reasonable demand. Done and done. What a pleasure it is to deal with someone reasonable. Negotiations are so much more enjoyable when certain individuals are not here to interfere. Mm. If the Nans all stood together in one place and hated all at the same time, that hatred could fly. <laughs> he never listens. He will, sooner or later. How can you be sure? Because the alternative is too terrible to consider. Without the hope that things will get better, that our inheritors will know a world that is fuller and richer than our own, life is pointless. And evolution is vastly overrated. For the Mbari that are so peace-loving and evolution geared why did they fight the line then? i don't think that that piece oh, still going. They, I, I believe that they, they, there's not three motive of them how's dr tasaki it's like a kid with a new puzzle he wants to go back down and check it out first thing tomorrow morning a glutton for punishment there's no way double scanning for life have you heard any news today from the mars colony no why but there's always something about it in the daily earth force status report but it just came in and there wasn't any word from mars nothing uh-oh it started, bro. Uh oh. We just a glitch in the system. Nope. Nope. There's a war going on in Mars right now. <laughs> Mars is going nuts right now. I bet you. Okay. All communications been cut off. They're gonna find a very ancient Oof. factory that's gonna produce oxygen on Mars. Incorrect answer. The third principle of sentient life is the capacity for self-sacrifice. They're like the elves of space, aren't they? Kinda, yeah. Soon you will have forgotten all about your old friend, Dral. Not if I live to be a thousand and one. <laughs> Tanker 12, are you in position to refuel our turret transport? Roger CNC, our host jockey is ready to connect. There's a lot of things that we really shouldn't, we don't see often that we're seeing now, which is worrying me. Like, oh, feeling the tank. Oh, seeing these ships. I'm like, hmm, why? Elsewhere in the news, we're just getting a late breaking story. As, as ISN viewers may know, all contact with the Mars colony has been cut off since noon today, Earth Standard. Time. What did I say? We're now receiving confirmation that an open revolt is. 
heavy fighting outside the capital city and armed skirmishes within the city itself. I'm told we have a live feed from ISN reporter Derek. Oh, yes. I want to see this. Have demanded independence for the Mars colony. Or, and I quote, the sand will run red with earth or blood. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What the hell? It's a who? You better call New Five. <laughs> yeah, what the hell was that? Oh my god, the story building is so good right now. That converter around to Tower Three. You got your environment control. Like, why are we seeing this? Why are we seeing this? <laughs> we filled the gas tanks, now we're seeing this part. Why are we seeing it? There's no reason for it. We've never seen it before. Last night, just before I went to bed, I saw... What? I don't know. Maybe I'm just tired. Did they just find an alien race? And they contacting the captain? I only bought one of the bottles, by the way. I already thanked you for arranging for my quarters last night. And Whatever drink that is, it has to be fire. Guys, that's a bong. Just putting that out there. <laughs> Our world is changing, Delenn. Perhaps the darkness was there all along and we refused to see it. If you're referring to the growing division between the religious and military castes... That... I stand corrected. I am going to the sea. Trial. The sea? No. You're still too young to go to the sea. What? What's the sea? Then, when you leave here, I will never see you again. I'm afraid so. Delenn is such a great character. And she's very nice and loving and hopeful. But I can't help but think because she's part of a bigger picture. That had other plans. Let me get this straight. I'm an Earth Force security officer, clearance level ultraviolet alpha. And I'm not considered authorized personnel. If you try again later. I've been trying all damn morning. I'll follow your request, and if things change, I'll notify you at once. But don't blame her. She's just doing her job. Crappily. Well, I hope we don't do anything stupid that might be considered treasonous. Oh, yeah. At this point. Just one thing. The Star Furies are designed for combat in space, not inside an atmosphere. Don't drop too low, or you're on your own. Understood. Guys, yeah, I'm nervous. I'm curious. Her name's Lise Hampton. We met a few days after I got there, and we uh, got involved. So when Jeff asked me to come work Babylon 5, I asked her to come with me. She said no. The last time we spoke, it ended up with a slam door and me on the last flight out. We haven't talked since then. For the past two years, I've wanted to call her. I didn't know if she didn't want to hear from me. And now this. But what do you expect me to do about it? tycho has got an intelligence and training operation in Syria Planum. Mm hmm but that's supposed to be classified. It is, but it's never stopped me before. You're asking a lot. I know. Dude, you, you don't want to owe Psycho a favor. You're my last hope. Would you make this call for a girl you haven't spoken to in two no. years and you left no. broken? No. Okay, I didn't... No. What, no. what, what are you going to do? This guy... This is a huge security risk. First yeah, of all. huge. For, again... A girl. For, that he hadn't spoken to in two years, and they left on bad terms. Come on, bro. Come on. Get out of here. Inside the atmosphere curtain. Negative, Survey 1. Do not enter atmosphere. The fighters won't be able to follow you in. Don't worry, Babylon Control. I'm not going far. Just enough to get some samples. He's dying. Doctor, there's something down there. Coming our way fast. Oh. Missiles. Yo. Could that be AI? That might be a problem. An act of war? Survey 1 to Babylon Control. We're clear. Returning to base. Confirm, sir. You're an idiot. Upon arrival, you will report for debriefing. Yeah, you better, you better put him in his place. On your trip back, I'd like you to take the time to learn the Babylon 5 mantra. Ivanova is always right. And, if this ever happens again, Ivanova will personally rip your lungs out. Babylon control out. She's 100% correct. Yep, yep, yep. Shoot. What the hell's down there? 
It could be an AA. There's something down there. Something important enough to require a pretty lethal defense system. It's also a potential first contact situation. I'd say we pretty much have to go down there and check it out. Wouldn't you agree, Lieutenant Commander? Absolutely. Do we? Yes. Why him? Oh, not him. Why, why, why anybody in Babylon 5? Because it'd be fun. No, I'm, I'm just saying. Exploration, and, man. Not by them. Their job, uh, I don't know. Water. Fascinating. I never touched the stuff myself. <laughs> I don't know if it's Babylon's priority to find out this life down there. No, no, well, I just don't know their... Like, it should be, it should definitely be you know, investigated, but not by them, like a different team. Like, the scientists had a team of other people to do, do the following and investigating. Well, remember, Babylon's also the biggest interspecies I'm negotiation stupid. thing like Suddenly, diplomacy diplomacy so I just but we're not doing diplomacy at this moment right now it's been about attacking yeah but it's because we don't know what's down there so until we go down there and find out first contact i don't think babylon 5 should be doing should be the one leading this mr garibaldi whatever it is it can't be that bad <laughs> I do like the relationship, these two. Mm -hmm. You look as if you needed a friend. <laughs> oh, I did. Thanks. Ah, you're welcome. He's my favorite character out of all of it. But I'm concerned about him ever since he got the eye. Yeah. Hey, somebody better pay for that drink. That <laughs> son of a. <laughs> I got him good. the hell all right delta flight stand by we're ready to go in i i don't agree with they shouldn't go down there but i don't agree these two should be going down there yes that i i, I agree with you that those two shouldn't be the going one, down like there. The, the two most valuable i think in the station <laughs> sinclair we're on toilet paper i'll be right back i'm gonna go get it for everybody Delta flight, fire! Am I crazy? This is dumb. No, it's entirely dumb. That they are the ones to go in. That they're going. We've got something. It's an opening, all right. Definitely artificial. Bring us in. Not just are they going in there, they're going by themselves. Mm hmm. With no armor either. Like, if they pop out of that ship and there's anything there that can shoot them they're gone can they breathe this atmosphere life signs none so far it looks like we're the only living things in or on this planet we're not that mark to do it no there's security guard jimmy jimmy we can't let anyone outside the government know the center exists but mr garibaldi already knows about it he may suspect but that is not the same as confirmation I can't plug your friend into the comnet from here, but I can run a check on her name and see if she's listed among the wounded. They have to have a backer. Oh, I'm sure. Well, remember the episode they were they were they were speaking arms and selling arms in Mars, mm -hmm. and they were doing an embargo on there. And yeah. Winter's friend, remember Winter's friend had a very powerful suits from the uh, what's it called the military, the shadow suits. Oh, remember? Yeah. From Who's the uh, yeah. backer though. Yeah. It could be about money. It could. Well, my first no. instinct is the sage of car, but I know it's not your car. No, I think it's all. I think it's all Earth. I think it's all humans. What the hell? Oof. Some Indiana Jones stuff here. Can you cover that in three seconds? Not a problem. Okay, stand by. I just know I would trip. <laughs> something, something will happen. Holy. <laughs> the abyss. Is it a giant generator? 
Look at this. His authors. I, I tried to find out as much as I can about them to try to make some sense of him. 6,000 years of recorded history, a history that includes remarkable composers, astonishing symphonies. But what is the one song that half of them sing to their children generation after generation? Despacito. <laughs> you put your right hand in, you put your right <laughs> hand out, you put your whole self in. It doesn't mean anything. I have been studying it for seven days. I had the computer analyzed. I swear to you, it does not mean nothing. <laughs> Can I see you for a moment? I've had some news. I asked them to check the nets for any information about your friend. They couldn't get into the logs for the dead or wounded, but they were able to access the list of survivors. And? Her name isn't on it. Then it's possible that something's happened to her. I'm sorry. Oh, don't be. She's all right. She has to be. <sighs> I, don't, I don't feel wrong what I'm saying. What's happening? Picking up You're seismic right. activity. It's hey, a big one. Commander, get the hell out of there, you hear me? Clear That's out! Pretty... Is that what killed them and melted their brains? Was just the earthquakes? The constant rumbling? No, I think that alien body we saw there was probably Explorer too. You saw two? Yeah. Head on the station. Did you just find Krypton? It's cut that color. What oh. the hell? What the hell? It's the it's a third eye raven. Trade of life? The three eye raven. You might be right, this might be all AI, like, all controlled by this guy, maybe? Help me, or your people, all your people, will die. Is that a threat? Huh. Hit him with a gun. Sir, don't reach into your waist, man. Put <laughs> <laughs> your hands up, get ready up. Put your hands where I can see them. He speaks a lot of help me for somebody that's helpless. Is he helpless? So it's not a prison. He wasn't like chained up or anything, or am I mistaken? I have no idea. We've got a ship coming through the jump gate. Fine, fine. Mr. Garibald, it's big. The hell? Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, oh it's so my annoying. god! Oh! All right, screw the Astro. Let's go to the next one. No way! <laughs> Stop this here. Reset that. Oh my god! Uh, <laughs> what could that be? What could that be? Someone knew that they're in that planet. Something is happening. Things are moving. Could it be the shadow? I don't people? have. It seems like a really advanced technology. Yeah. Like something they've never seen before. So definitely, I think it's a superior. But what is it, like a power supply, maybe? I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Whatever it is, Whatever it, it is. was highly protected. Highly protected. But not enough for them not to get through. Like, it wasn't that advanced for them not. You know what I mean? It wasn't like a super. Well, it was, it was advanced enough to not be discovered by scans. I think, I think, I think the cloaking of it was more important than. The well, it was deep because the scans that they did remember, they were saying they only did two mile depth scans. No, no, I'm saying beforehand. No, 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 no. I'm saying beforehand. Remember, beforehand they said they did planetary scans and they did deep scans and they couldn't find anything. Hmm. Well, Man. but I think they were looking for life, though. They weren't looking like like technology was not. But that is life. That's well, yeah, that one guy. Yeah, I guess you're right. Life. That's what I'm saying. Like, it is, well, is good, it? it is good enough. Well, we'll see. But it is good enough to hide 
then there's clearly a surge of energy. No matter what, I'm almost positive the first thing that they're gonna look for when you're scanning a planet, especially being an advanced race that they are, is probably that they're looking for energy, some sort of energy source around here. Yeah. And for it to cloak itself the way it did, and clearly the technology to be as advanced as it is, there has to be, it has to be something of higher knowledge that we currently know of. Because clearly they were- Well, like, yeah, it's definitely that, ancient. But oh, then how then how old is that guy? That guy's probably ancient too then. It's like was funny. he the I mean, part was he I don't know if you ever played well or read any books on uh, uh Warhammer 40k. <laughs> what I've seen was this, the, the AI, mm -hmm. but the AI seems to be controlled by a human, like yeah. the brain of the human. Yeah, yeah. So they they put an actual brain or a head of a human to like keep, doorways and, and they're the AI. AI. Yeah. They're part of the AI system. So yeah. I wonder if, if he's that element. He might be. You know what I mean? Be, but but that be that still would be pretty dark. But still, I wonder if that's that's where this is supposed to be. I don't know. I'm left with more questions than anything. I can't have any definitive. I don't even have a theory right well, now. Well, typically know. I always have theories. What? So my working theory right now is that if it was he's the brain of the AI, then is he the basically the energy, uh, like the controllant for bio weaponry? Because if it's... But if he came off it, wouldn't it disengage then? Because they kept shooting down on the way out, so I'm assuming they were shooting more missiles what? At, at, at what was to come. Well, no missiles came out, though. But he's asking, we, my, my question is, is he keeps saying, how, he, he kept appearing, first of all, mm -hmm. not just to the captain, but to Lando, right? Mm -hmm. You're pretty good just now. What does he need? Like, what's the help he need? Was he, do you think he was just trying to get out of there? But then again, if he's stuck in there, I don't know if he was originally part of that spot or he had to explore and decided, you know, let me, what does this do? My other question is why now? That's my biggest question. Why now? Because he clearly showed up before these travelers went to go search for that uh, planet. Before that, remember the, the where it happened was in in this guy's room as soon as they heard about the Mars colony, which was before they actually went out. So why now? Like, what set it off? What is the chain of events that set it off? Hmm. Hello, two viewers. What is the chain of events <laughs> that set it off? I don't know. My biggest concern is was I'm more. I like what's going on. I'm wrong, and I'm sure this has a major plot somewhere. But I want to know more about Mars. Hmm. What, what's going on? And then whatever's coming to the jump gate right now. What's huge? What ship that we know that's huge that came to the jump gate? It wouldn't be the Shadow Guys because they have their own jump gate. True, true. That is true. Unless what you, I'm thinking about. You think Mars is attacking? No, the, the, I don't think Mars is attacking. What I'm thinking is that this is another race that they just discovered because clearly it looks like they haven't been seen before because they're not i think they, the humans like the lennon or not the lennon um, ivanova and um uh sinclair would have said oh there that, that's we found a uh mimbari down here they would they would have said the race because they almost always identify True. whoever they see as this specific race True. that's why i'm do. thinking so it's... so what i'm so what i'm thinking it is what i'm thinking it is it is that there is a hierarchy to who is the most advanced. Probably um, Kosh and the Shadow people are, are up there. But I'm thinking there could be like a subcategory, one right below them, which could be these people. That they have somehow found this technology. It's like in when we play the Twilight Imperium game, some people have more technology than others. You know what yeah. So what I'm thinking is maybe they're, they're that, that colony, whatever it may be, um, or whatever that race is, Sent out a signal because that's clearly a beacon signal because it's a repeated signal that keeps happening. So and everybody thought it was a beacon. Sent out a beacon to whatever race they're in, and the, whatever space in, in they the are in, now is coming back over through that jump gate to either harm uh, to you. Can, does that make sense? I I kind of get where you're going. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. There, though. That's that's my only question. I don't know why they're there. But I'm saying they could that be, is the case. They could be there for two reasons. One, um, Mars could be a thing. Two, maybe the fact that Jirabali just snooped in about Psychor 
I don't think Psycho wants this to be known. This could be something that has to do with Psycho and Joe Baldi. Uh, but that's for that's that's a, that's a bit of a stretch. Or this could be. I mean, what happens in Jakar? Jakar just showing out of nowhere? I don't know. You know what? We're going to find out. Listen, could be the old man. Maybe the old man's on the run. The what? The. The, the, the Mimbari. Maybe he's on the run, the old man. Could be that. And they come to get him. Could be that because he. And if that's true. What are they gonna do? What are they gonna do against the Minbari? <laughs> but then why is he? Why is he fleeing? What does right. he know? Because he he don't like the changes. Maybe he did something. Maybe and he's on the run. A voice in the wilderness, right? What is that's the that's that's the that that apparition that keeps showing up. That guy to just save everything. That's Ooh, another thing. Right. It could be something else. Well, guys, listen. This listen, is all this speculation. Is We're gonna yeah. find out in a minute. Guys, please uh, uh, leave all your comments in the comment section. We want, uh, again, let us know your thoughts. That's not spoilers. Uh, we are all over the place. This, I mean, this, this is pretty broad. We don't know exactly what's happening right now, oh, no. but it's pretty broad either Very. way. But guys, please, we want to know what your thoughts are on this episode so far. Please leave your comments in the comment section. If you like what we're doing, please hit the like button, subscribe button. Uh, this episode, along with other episodes, other shows we have will be uh, available on our Patreon for as little as one dollar a month. We definitely want to know your thoughts on this show. And by the way, uh, I mentioned it earlier, we are airing this according to the guide that we're following. So this is supposed to be based on the timeline that we're following. This is why this episode may seem to have come before another episode. But again, we are following the timeline that is made that, that we were told over and over again to follow. And we're doing just that, okay? Because we want to become true fans of this show. So anyway, guys, please. Uh, again, leave uh, leave the uh, uh, comment in the comment section, hit the like button, subscribe button. Guys, we also got some merchandise. This is one of the shirts that you can buy in our store. Sci-fi. Guys, help us out with this. You know, if you want to buy a shirt, buy two, buy three, buy four. We might we might be able to help uh, and fix that uh that echo on our microphones <laughs> with some money. <laughs> what are you guys with? We're R9 Ray. I'm Julian. I'm Michael. Guys, we'll see you soon. Stay safe, everyone. Take care.